Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let us try to explore a very important design pattern related to data architecture or big data pipeline design or any system design related topic. Okay, and that is CQRS design pattern. What is CQRS? Why we need that? How we can implement CQRS using different big data components or AWS services? All this I am going to cover in today's video. Okay, so let us try to understand why we need CQRS, so, and then we will eventually move to concept of CQRS. So normally, in any monolithic application, basically where the components are not broken into small small microservices, but rather we are considering the complete system as a whole, that is kind of called as monolithic application. So in those kind of systems, most of the time we have one database, and this database should respond for both query and update operation so what i mean to say like for example suppose you are creating linkedin okay and in linkedin suppose you are creating a profile that means you want to insert some data in the back end database right but suppose you want to fetch all the connections for a particular profile that time you are querying that database you are not inserting updating or deleting anything in the database but rather you are making some query request on your database which will give all the other profiles which are connected to one specific profile right so in a database we are doing basically two kind of operation one is while creating the profile or modifying the profile that time in that particular backend database insert update delete etc happening and another operation what we are doing is query operation just to fetch the result set like as i have told you one example maybe you can consider like this way that for a particular profile what are the posts or likes or comments from that profile was made within past three four days okay so that is kind of a query operation so you understood that in any system query operation and insert update delete etc these two kind of operations mostly we have to do that means a database is both working for complex join queries and also performing crude operations okay so suppose you are querying something and your monolithic system is using one particular database and that outcome of that particular request is not a straightforward not like a simple select star okay might be multiple tables are there you have to do joins and filters and then after you have to apply might be some aggregation etc etc and then that result set of that complex join query you want to get okay so that single database in that case is handling that complex join queries as well as if suppose we are doing any kind of crude operation like i told you updating a profile or inserting or creating a new profile or deleting a profile so these will come under crude operation right so both things are handled by that particular database only now when we deal with more complex applications like microservices or any kind of applications that has high demand for data consumption then having much writing and reading in the same database can affect the performance of the application and that is quite obvious right suppose you are using one particular database it is having a specific amount of resource only compute resource and a storage resource now on that database only you are applying all the complex join queries to fetch the outcome okay and also simultaneously on that database only you are doing different insert update delete etc so obviously eventually with time in any microservice system if these kind of things are happening in a very high rate then for that particular single database if you are using in the backend then the performance of the application will surely decrease okay because database is now in high pressure it has to handle both of these kind of operations and as a result the performance delay you will see okay so we need a solution for that and that's where comes the cqrs that is to solve this issue cqrs pattern can be used what is full form of cqrs it is command query responsibility segregation okay so from the complete name itself i hope you can get some idea but let me explain what is cqrs so command and query responsibility segregation pattern separate the read and the update operation for the data okay maybe update or delete or insert whatever you are doing that would be considered a separate operation and read basically if you want to fetch some result based on a particular query or something that read operation will be a separate okay for a particular data how it will do so before going to that we need to understand these two terms because if you see this full form command and query responsibility segregation so we need to understand what is command and what is query query is very simple any kind of 
read request is nothing but you can consider as query okay that is query will give us some information which we are requesting and it will never change anything within the model it will not insert update delete nothing it will do it will just fetch the result set based on a particular backend query okay and what is comment comment is basically when you perform some writes that is insert update delete etc etc along with the business logic what we are implementing okay now this particular writing in database or updating in uh, our data or deleting our data that operation and the reading these two we have to make separately okay on the same data so what we can do basically we can follow this kind of pattern in cqrs okay so what happens suppose you are the client here who is basically using a particular website here you are having your front end instead of using only one single database in the back end which is supporting both any crude operation as well as query results that it is providing after applying some complex query instead of that single database we will have two database okay suppose from ui client is maybe creating a particular account or maybe updating the account or deleting the account whatever this kind of crude operation will happen that will come under comment pattern and that comment pattern will happen in a database okay right i hope up to this you got it now, and now suppose client want to fetch some result set maybe like for example i have told you right that for a particular linkedin account which are the profiles who are connected to that particular linkedin account if you want to know that so that is basically a read request which you are doing in the back end right not any update insert or delete etc so what will happen when the client makes some request for queries in the ui which will return some information then it will go to a separate database okay and this is termed as read database from the read database complex queries will be executed and it will return the result set and whatever insert update delete will happen that will happen in write database okay and obviously if these two database have no connectivity that is not possible right because then inconsistency in data will appear so obviously which time to time we need to sync these two databases okay maybe based on event based trigger or based on batch processing you need to make sure that this particular write database and read database are in sync okay and because in this particular pattern we are giving the responsibility of executing any command and executing any query to separate database so now the load for a single database will not be that much high and our application will perform query but we need to make sure from the right database eventually the data in the read database also will be updated that is read database should come in sync with the right database quickly okay now the question comes how to sync the database with cqrs design pattern that is an important question right so here are some sample patterns or designs or architecture which i am going to explain let's see that okay so first example can be suppose you are using dynamodb okay so suppose you are having your front end where different users are using maybe they are inserting updating or deleting whatever this kind of crude operation they are doing what you will do you will insert in amazon dynamodb directly okay so this is basically acting like our command database or write database or command site okay now as soon as some insert update delete happens what you can do using dynamodb stream you can trigger a lambda maybe in lambda you can write a simple python code and using which those kind of insert update delete you can reflect in another dynamodb table okay and that particular dynamodb table you can basically use to perform any information fetch request or query request okay so that with this particular table and this particular table will be almost in sync because dynamodb stream is almost near real time right so if any insert update delete happens in this write database eventually within fraction of seconds in this particular dynamodb table also the data will be updated and if any user want to query something that complex query can be implemented on this particular table that way this table will be responsible for any read request and this table will be actually responsible for any insert update delete etc so that's why it is called as command side and this is called as query side so here you can see command and query these two responsibilities we are segregating among two different tables it is not like only one single table is getting the complete burden of insert update delete as well as uh, giving the information based on some user query request okay it is not necessary that you can use amazon dynamodb only maybe you can from lambda you can put the data in amazon elastic search okay which is very efficient for search operation among large documents 
or maybe you can put the data in Amazon Redshift, which can act like your OLAP or online analytical processing system. Okay, so here using this particular pattern, you can basically move the data from OLTP to OLAP directly. And you can use your OLAP for any query performance and anyway for our insert of the delete, we are using this OLTP. So this is basically one particular pattern where we are using a DynamoDB table only for command operation and for any queries, we can use this kind of different different systems, okay, based on requirement, okay. Another pattern to make the command side and query side or write database and read database in sync can be shown like this way, okay. So suppose we are having our UI here, maybe user is creating some account or updating the existing account or deleting some account that is basically crude operation and similarly user is requesting some queries, okay. So there is a API which can understand whether this is read request or it is insert update delete etc request, okay. So if it is insert update delete, it will directly store in write database and if it is like read kind of information, then it will go to read database for any kind of query information fetch request and now we have to make sure the write database and read database become in sync very quickly right so how we can do that in near real time like dynamodb stream so what we can do whenever user will make some insert update delete request along with writing the data in write side database we will put that in a event streaming in a particular topic that can be amazon kinesis or kafka etc real time tool and from there we can use apache spark to read the data from the kafka topic or amazon kinesis and update or insert or delete that in read database side also so that way eventually in near real time our write database side and read side database will be in sync right so this is how in this particular architecture the comment side can be handled by this database and read side can be handled by this database and after all we have understood that how the read database will be in sync with write database basically whatever insert update delete is happening in write database eventually in near real time it will be updated in read side database as well okay so this is another big data pipeline which you can implement to have cqrs design pattern for your system so this is a very important concept so i thought to cover this if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you